to uh, a few things that you have to be really careful when it comes to single displacement reaction. And we just kind of did them blindly, but they worked. And, I'm gonna, and we're going to see now with the following. Copper plus potassium chlorate. So we have copper and potassium chlorate using the five-step crossover rule looks as follows. Okay. When we put these together, we identify metal, metal, non-metal. So obviously we're going to be thinking that the copper is going to switch places with the potassium. But no reaction occurs here. Okay. And the reason for this, okay, um, we didn't just guess it and we're, you're not going to just have to memorize, you know, that, that this one is not going to, okay. We use um, pretty much a special category of compounds, okay. Um, and we're going to look at it in just a second here. Now, not all single displacement reactions take place. So here we have one that came out to a no reaction, okay? And this occurs with single displacement reactions, okay? Uh, this is because some metals are considered more reactive than other metals, okay? Which means that between these two, these two have such a big difference in, in reactivity that one might not, it would be, might be more reluctant to want to give up the compound that it's with. Okay. So scientists have collected a list of metals and they have ranked them okay, according to how reactive they are. And here's the list of compounds. And they're, they're all part of what we call the activity series of metals. You will not be asked to memorize this. I will be providing you with the activity series. You, it's going to be up to you to know how to use it. Okay. So any metal that is higher in the acti activity series will replace any metal that is in the lower end of the series because it is considered more reactive. Okay. So you're going to have a list from top to bottom. The metals up at the top are the most reactive. And they will take over anything that's lower on in, in the uh, activity series. The lower you are to the series, it's higher, it's harder. It will not be possible for it to displace it, so to speak. Okay, so let's look at the activity series um, in just a second. So if a metal is lower in the series, it cannot replace a metal higher in the series. So no reaction will occur because it is less reactive. So let's look at an example. Complete the following chemical reaction and balance the equation. Magnesium and zinc nitrate. Okay, so let's look at the activity series. We've identified it's a single displacement. How do you know it's a single displacement? Well, look for a lonely, okay? Look for a lonely atom, okay? Look for a lonely metal, look for a lonely non-metal, okay? Just like the dance, okay? The semi-formal dance that we, we looked at just at the beginning of the, uh, the slide. We saw the couple dancing. We saw the lonely guy dancing. Okay, eventually the lonely guy on the next dance, you know, comes in and asks the girl to dance, leaving that other guy now lonely. Okay, so in other words, for in a single displacement reaction, one compound is going to be lonely in the reactants, and another will be in the lonely in the product. So remember, if it's a metal lonely, it'll have to be the other metal that will be lonely in the um, end result if it fits the so-called activity series so actually i don't know why i erased that so we have metal metal non-metal so we would think that the magnesium would displace the zinc so here's the activity series here's magnesium okay here's zinc so magnesium is higher in the activity series which means magnesium is more reactive which means that yes we will have a, uh, a a displacement okay so magnesium will replace zinc and a reaction will occur so there it is so magnesium took the place of zinc bumping zinc and now zinc is on its own but again remember in order for us to put magnesium nitrate together we need to use the five-step crossover or we need to look at the charges okay So you will be given a list like this here on the left.
Okay, let's complete the following chemical reactions and balance the equation. Nickel and aluminum oxide. So here it is. So let's look at nickel. There's nickel. Okay, so we're looking at the metal. We're looking at the non-metal, which is aluminum. Aluminum is more reactive. Okay, so nickel is lower in the series. It cannot replace aluminum. Therefore, no reaction. Okay, and when you're writing out the, 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 uh, your equation, you can just write down NR for no reaction. Complete the following chemical reactions and balance the equations if a re reaction occur, can occur. So if a reaction cannot occur, you just write out your reactants and then write down you know, your arrow and then in the products NR or no reaction. Calcium and potassium sulfate. So here's the activity series. Here's calcium. Okay, here's potassium. Can calcium, okay, displace, can, can this calcium knock out this potassium? No, because the potassium is higher, okay, the highest on the activity series. So really, nothing's going to displ displace the potassium. So no reaction will take place. Okay, we have now sodium, okay. Metal, metal. Okay, there's the non-metal. So we're looking at the activity series. We have sodium there, and we have iron down there. So will sodium knock out the iron and leave the iron lonely? Yes, it will. Okay, because it is higher in the activity series. Okay. Next example, and then of course we have to balance it. Remember, you can't balance the a no reaction. Uh, nickel is the metal. Metal, okay, non-metal. Remember, this only works if you have two metals, okay? Notice how the activity series is metals only, okay? So if you've identified you have a single displacement reaction or a possibility of a single displacement reaction, you are always looking for metal, metal, non-metal. Metal, metal, non-metal. Metal, metal, non-metal. So will nickel knock out... Copper, nickel is there. Copper is lower. So yes, nickel will knock out copper, leaving copper lonely. Okay, so copper is not as strong, let's say, in reactivity. Okay, so think of it as a, as a bully. He's coming in and he's bullying his way over to, to the phosphate. And going, hey, copper, get lost. You're going to be lonely. Okay, you're going to be lonely. Okay, and then balance it. Um, lead and zinc chloride. So we look for lead. We look for zinc. Zinc is higher in the reactivity series. So zinc has a stronger hold with the chloride. Therefore, no reaction. Magnesium and tin 4 hydroxide. So we look for magnesium. There's magnesium. There's tin. So tin is lower, so magnesium, being higher up in the activity series, will take the place. So leaving tin lonely. And again, be careful when you're putting together your formulas. Okay. And of course, we have to uh, balance the equation. Aluminum and silver, one nitrate. Okay. We look for aluminum in the activity series. We look for silver. Silver is way down at the bottom, so aluminum will have no problem displacing the silver, leaving the silver single. And again, be very careful here with the uh, crossing over. Okay, remember your diatomics as well. And again, don't forget to balance your equation.